Hi Taurus and welcome. My name is Der uh, Inez and today I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading from October 20th to the 26th, 2019. Please keep in mind that these are general love readings so I cannot and will not resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't apply, then let it fly. If it does apply, then I would love to read your comments down below. Also, right now I'm running a special offer. It's called a pre-holiday special. It started October 14th to November 1st. That's when it ends. And the way it works is all you have to do is help me gain a thousand subscribers by subscribing. And once you subscribe, you will uh, take a screenshot, email it to me with your name and your phone number, and I will enter your name into the contest. Okay, and what you will win, you could win a weekly love reading for free at no charge for one whole entire month. Okay, and to my current subscribers, all you have to do is share my channel with your friends and family. If they if and when they subscribe, you will take a screenshot of it, email it to me, showing proof that they did with your name and number, and your name will be entered into the contest as well. And you will have a chance to win a weekly love reading for one month okay now with that being said let's get your reading started and let's see i already shuffled these cards off camera for the sake of time but i will shuffle them again as always okay please give me a, a love advice reading for taurus from october 20th through the 26th 2019 please give me a love advice please tell me about taurus in love from October 20th to the 26th, 2019. Please tell me about Taurus in love from October 20th to the 26th, 2019. Please tell me about Taurus in love from October 20th to the 26th, 2019. Please tell me about Taurus in love from October 20th to the 26th, 2019. Please tell me about Taurus in love from October 20th to the 26th, 2019. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. My leg hurts. I hit my, bang my knee with my desk. Oh my God, that hurts so bad. You have no idea. Well, actually you might do because that shit hurt. Please uh, tell me about Taurus in love from October 20th to the 26th, 2019. Please tell me about Taurus in love from October 20th to the 26th, 2019. Please tell me about Taurus in love from October 20th to the 26th, 2019. Please tell me about Taurus in love. From October 20th to the 26th, 2019. Please tell me about Taurus. Okay. We got the Ace of Wands. It's the bottom of the deck. And we got, let's go in the middle. Somebody here is waiting. We got the Three of Wands. Temperance, so you could be dealing with a uh, Sagittarius and a Will of Fortune, so you could be dealing with one of the four fixed signs, which is Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus as yourself. So somebody here is waiting. Someone's waiting on their shifts to come in. Now they want it to be an equal give and take. They want balance here. They need balance. And the wheel is turning within your favor. The wheel is turning within your favor here. But you're still waiting. Because you want you, you want to communicate with this person. Communication is needed here. Because you guys may live at a distance. You guys may not live near each other in the same city or state. Or even county. But there's a distance. You guys could be distant in miles or you could be distant in emotions emotionally you could be distant or better i meant to say physically you could be physically distant or emotionally here but you're waiting on this but you're waiting on communication from this person because you want to heal the situation you want to heal it you want to make it right 
and you're just waiting on your time to come. You're waiting on your turn. You're standing there waiting. When is it my turn? When am I going to have my happy ending? If that was to actually exist. Maybe it does. Maybe it don't. I don't know. But either way, you're waiting here. You're waiting on your turn. When is it my turn? Because, you know, when is my ship going to come in? When am I going to be happy? When am I going to be emotionally satisfied? You know, so you're waiting. And communication is needed here. Because whoever this person is, you guys are not communicating. And if you are communicating, you're communicating very little to none. And you know, there's not a lot of communication. If you do communicate, it's not a lot. Let's find out about the Three of Wands. Please get more information on the Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here? Please get more information on the Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here? Please get more information on the Three of Wands. Please get more information on the Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here? You could be dealing with the air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And someone is missing you. Or you're missing someone here. Hold on a second. Okay, so we got the King, the Knight of Swords upright. We got, look at this. The Knight, the Nine, the, oh my God, I can't get the words out. Nine of Cups in reverse. Not emotionally satisfied you are not emotionally satisfied and we got the devil upright you're not emotionally satisfied there's no emotionally satisfied this could be a toxic situation uh you could be dealing with an air sign again and this person could come across as cold, distant, detached. You know, not doesn't show uh, doesn't show that much emotions at all. And with the with the nine of cups in reverse with this devil right here, this shows that there's really no. It's more sexual. This relationship is more sexual than anything. There's really no emotions here. There's no emotions, it's more sexual, and you're dealing with an air sign. Which is normal because air signs, they're mental. They they're more they're more they less they really don't show their emotions. They're more they they're mainly logical. That's what I'm trying to get at. They're logical, they're mainly thinking, so they really don't express their emotions. So this could be more sexual than anything. This connection that you have with this person could be more sexual, more sexual, and less emotions, and that's one of the reasons why you're still waiting, cause you're waiting, cause you want to be emotionally fulfilled as well. You just don't want a sexual satisfaction. You just don't want somebody coming in, you know, wham bam, thank you, ma'am, you know, leave you the money right there in the dresser, talking about thank you for your services. You know, you don't want that. You want more. You want to be emotionally satisfied, and right now you're not being emotionally satisfied because all you're doing is, because all it's doing is coming across as just a sexual connection with this air sign, with this air sign, and you're waiting for something more. You want more. You need more. You deserve more, but you're just not getting it. And there could also be regrets here as well. They could be regret. Let's see. Let's find out about this tempers. Please get more information on the tempers. Why is the tempers here? Please get more information on this tempers. Why is this tempers here? Please get more information on the tempers. Why is this tempers here? Please get more information on this tempers. Tempers. Please get more information on this tempers. Tempers. Give me more information on Tempers. Taurus. Oh shit. I bend my card. Hmm. I think I'll get over it. 
We'll see. We got the Knight of Cups in reverse. We got the Chariot. And the Three of Cups. So this could have been friends with benefits type of situation. Cause this could, cause I'm feeling that this was a three party situation, and it was a friends with benefits type of situation. You, it could have been a three party situation, but I'm feeling more. I feel more that this was a friends with benefit type type of situation because the three of cups. We have friends here getting together, having good times, drinking, blah blah blah, and we have this in reverse. And being that your situation with this person was nothing but sexual, this was a friends with benefits type of situation, and there was no offering coming in. There's no offering coming in from this person, so you could be dealing with a cancer as well. You could be dealing with a cancer, um, or cancer Pisces Scorpio, you could be dealing with them. You don't have to be dealing with one. You know, these are just the signs that, that I'm seeing right here, but... Someone is moving on. Someone's moving on due to the fact that there is no equal give and take. You're not emotionally satisfied. This is just a sexual connection. You want more. This person is not offering it to you. So what you're going to do? You're going to move on, right? You're going to hop on your horse and leave and be like, Psh, deuces. And you know what? I don't blame you. If you're going to be with somebody, you should be emotionally satisfied. You should be getting emotionally satisfied. It shouldn't just be, you know, where they get theirs, but yet you don't get yours. You want more. You want more and, and it's not being offered to you. There's no balance here. No balance here. You're waiting on your ships to come in. You want to be emotionally satisfied. You want to be happy. You want to feel the love, but yet you're not getting it. And you find yourself in a situation where it's just a friends with type of friends with benefits type of situation, and it's like, and what I'm feeling here, someone got into their feelings. Someone got into their feelings, and the first rule of having friends with benefits when you're gonna be when you go into a friends type of friends with benefits type of situation, don't bring don't you have to keep your feelings out of it. Keep them feelings out of it. It's part of the rules. You can't put any emotions in it. You have, and normally the woman's the one that catches the feelings first. The woman's the one that always catches the feelings. You know, been there, done that. But you have to keep your emotions out of it. That's the number one rule when you're doing friends with benefits or you're doing uh, uh, not really booty calls, because booty calls, you know, the booty call, whatever. But friends with benefits, you want to keep your emotions out of it. But someone went into their feelings. Someone got into their feelings, and now and they caught feelings for the other person, but the other person didn't, didn't, and that's why they wasn't emotionally fulfilling to the other person, because most likely you was dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and like I said, they're all mental, and they really don't express their feelings, and being friends with benefits with this person. It worked out for this person just fine. They were cool with it. They was cool with being a friends with benefits type of situation. I mean, it could have been you, uh, uh, Taurus, or it could have been the other person, but somebody here was just cool with it, but somebody ended up getting their feelings in this situation. And at the bottom of the deck, we got judgment. So somebody wants a second chance here. There's a second chance because someone did move on. Someone, either you moved on or they moved on towards. Somebody moved on and they want to communicate now because we got the page of swords. So this person could be spying on you. They could be watching you. They could be watching you because now they had a wake-up call. They saw the light. They stepped into the light. They see it now. And now... They want to come back. They want to communicate with you. They want a second chance. And look, under that, we have 
the Ten of Pentacles. So now they're looking for something stable. So now this person is looking for something stable. And you know who this person is. And it's up to you if you decide to do it. Because remember, you guys were friends at one point. I mean, hopefully you was. Well, yeah, because when friends with benefits, you guys do have friends. I mean, whatever. You know what I mean. But either way, this person could be spying on you. They could be watching every move you make. And they now, being that someone here has walked away, this is where they had their wake-up call. There was a wake-up call for them. And now they want a second chance with you. And now they want to communicate. They're going to communicate. They want to communicate. When they communicate, they're going to be communicating in an immature manner. It's not going to be... It'll be direct, but it'll be kind of immature. Let's find out about the wheel of fortune. Because the wheel is turning, and it's turning within your favor. So let's find out. Let's get some more information about this wheel of fortune. Do you get more information on this wheel of fortune? Why is the wheel of fortune here? Do you get more information on the wheel of fortune? Why is the wheel of fortune here? Do you get more information on this wheel of fortune? Why is the wheel of fortune here? Please get more information on the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Please get more information on the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Please get more information on the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Wheel of Fortune. Please get more information on this Wheel of Fortune. Finally, something came out. So we got the Ten of Wands. So there's burdens here, there's responsibilities, and we got the world in reverse. Wow. So this this person feels like there is unfinished business with you. Either you or them feel that there's unfinished business with you, and we got the death card here. So a transformation is needed. We need transformation because the will is turning here and it's turning within your favor because this person, remember, keep in mind, this person had a wake-up call. They had a wake-up call, so they feel that they have unfinished business with you. There's unfinished business here. This person has lots of burdens. They could have lots of burdens, responsibilities, you know, house, the house, the kids, you know, work. You know, they have lots of responsibilities and or burdens. They take on other people's burdens here. And they just feel that when you guys walked away, when you guys ended your situation, it like left this lingering energy that is we're not done yet. There's more that needs to be hap that needs to happen here. And that's the reason why this person wants to come in. Let me get some more information. And look, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress here. The Empress is a new beginning. And look, we got the Lovers right here. And we got the Fool, taking a leap of, taking a leap of faith. So, yeah. So we have the Death card, something... Something must end in order for something new must for in order for something new to start, something has to end, Taurus. And here's your new beginning. Because remember the wheel is turning and this person feels that they have unfinished business with you. And the Empress represents new beginnings, expansion, growth, love, pregnancies, but I'm not seeing pregnancies here. I'm not I don't feel pregnancies here. I see more new beginning, expansion, and growth. In order for something new, in order for something new, a cycle has to end, a relationship has to end. Something within this connection had ended. Either it was the best, the friends with benefits type of situation that ended, and now this person wants to come back, because most likely you guys are not communicating, and now this person wants to come back and have a commit a connection with you be in a connection relationship they now want to be with you now they want to expand with you they want to grow with you because we have 
the lover's hair with the fool. So, guess what, Taurus? You wasn't the only one that got into your feelings because they got into their feelings just as well. So you wasn't the only one. They just know how to hide it better than you. Because like I said, you could have been dealing with an air sign. So this air sign knows how to hide their feelings better than you. And But they was feeling it too. They got into their feelings and now they want to take this leap of faith with you. They want this new beginning. They want to take this leap of faith with you. They want to be with you because they feel that they're most likely the way the way I'm picking it up. Both of you guys feel that there's unfinished business here. Both of you guys, not just one, but both of you guys feel unfinished business. The wheel is turning, and there's going to be communication here because at the bottom of the deck we also have the Ace of Swords, and that's truth and communication look right underneath that look what we have judgment we got judgment here so this is a second chance communication wanting a second chance here this is what they want they want a second chance with you because you wasn't the only one that got into your feelings they got into their feelings too they ended up falling in love with you they just know how to hide it better they just know how to hide it better and they want to take this leap of faith with you. They want to come back. They want to have a new beginning. They want to expand. They want to grow. So just let it happen. Because, you know, this is all has to do, this is the will of fortune. So everything's going to happen within divine timing. So let things unfold naturally. Don't try to put your two cents into it. Because if you put your two cents into it, you might fuck it up. You know what I'm saying? So just let things happen so this is all gonna happen within divine timing everything's gonna unfold this person either you or them are going to communicate with the other one you guys are gonna have a conversation a truthful honest conversation and you guys are gonna take it from there it goes from there okay so let it happen don't be trying to mess things up you know let it happen naturally. It will happen for you, Taurus. Just let it happen. Because they both, they, cause they're in their feelings as well. They got, they caught feelings for you the same way you caught feelings for them. Okay? Now let's get your love advice reading, Taurus. Please give me a love advice reading for Taurus, please. Please give me a love advice reading for Taurus. Please give me a love advice reading for Taurus. Taurus, what we have, oh, this is such a beautiful card. Archangel Gabriel. Gabriel guides your creativity. Look two right here. Such a pretty card, right? Okay. Well, Taurus, this is all I have for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And again, if you want to be entered into the contest, you have to email uh, you have to email me the a screenshot showing you subscribe with your name and number for, for me to be able to reach you if you win. Okay? Well, I will see you guys again next week. You guys take care. Love ya. Bye, Taurus.